Hi, so this is um, the look from the latest uh, Lancome Quezo Midnight Rose perfume and the spokesperson is Emma Watson and she's a really really beautiful girl um, and very talented as well so I think Lancome uh, makes her the spokesperson for this new perfume is very nice um, and the makeup and the feel of the ad and definitely um, embodies this more mature um, more mature character of uh, Emma. For her look, um, she has this very kind of strong uh, makeup, uh, which is that kind of dark smoky eyes with the deep burgundy-ish um, lips, lip color. And um, she has very strong eyebrows for this look. Yeah, I really like this look because it just, it's so polished. So I decided to do this, um, this makeup, and uh, um, I can't really tell from the what color eyeshadow she's using because of the lighting they used. Um, it has this; she has this like purplish, like bluish cast on her, so it really alters the entire color of her makeup. So I just did my version of it, my interpretation of it. Um, I just use a very dark brown on the lid and a little bit burgundy purple eyeshadow on the outer V and a little bit silver color on the bottom center here. Um, slight bronze um, contouring going on, a rosy cheek color. I can't really tell. And um, just a more a sheer texture of um, raspberry burgundy type of um, color on the lips. And I skipped the lip liner too. And powder the T zone, uh, leave the cheeks bare, or leave the cheeks um, powder free because just want that natural, healthy glow. Um, come through without adding highlights. So you can see I didn't add any highlights on my cheekbones but with the lighting and my natural skin uh, the cream foundation have this pretty nice glow to it. So this is the look. It's a classic smoky eye and you can do your own interpretation. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. I've already applied a uh, foundation and I use the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in 200 Soft Beige. And I applied uh, the ALF Studio um, Eye primer over my eyelid and also underneath uh, my eye. So next, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with a dark brown pencil, and this is the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Professional Medium Dark Brown Cafe. This is pretty cool because it comes with a brow comb and then on the bottom it has and on the bottom it has a little tweezer so it's very convenient so her eyebrow is very defined um, so I'm just going and it has a really nice clean arch so I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with this pencil So next I'm going to use a cream base and I'm using the e.l.f. 
everyday eye. Just put a little bit of this um, cream black. I'm just going to put um, a little bit of this silver or grayish, uh, grayish silver cream color. For the outer V, I'm just going to use this deep plum cream shadow. So for the upper lid, I'm just going to use a dark brown and I'm using the Mark Flip for it. And this is the Urban Neutrals. So it just it kind of looks like this, you know, you have this neutral shade and then it's dark brown and this is the cheap color. So I'm just going to use this dark brown. You can use any matte um, dark brown eyeshadow. And I'll just use a eyeshadow brush or you can use a um, flat concealer brush. Just something that's kind of flat and, you know, like that. That fits your lid. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this dark brown so I'm using a purplish red so it will be somewhat burgundy color and this is a sleek palette, a sleek palette, and this is Chaos in 577. I'm just going to use this burgundy eyeshadow. It's a matte finish. I'm just using this e.l.f. smudge brush and just take a little bit of that on the tip. You can also use a pencil brush for this. And then I'm going to place this color on the outer V area. And I'm going to use the Lancome Color Design Palette. Um, it's this one that has a silver, pink, burgundy, and black, a uh, sparkly black. And I think this silver is called Sty style section so just a shimmery silver color and I'm going to you can use a pencil brush again for that um, I'm just going to use like a the L'Oreal hip brush that comes with the pigment you just take a little bit of that on the tip of the brush tap it off and I'm just going to place this on the lower middle. So I'm just going to rim the entire eye with a black eye pencil. And this is the Milani Liquify uh, Metallic Eye Liner Pencil. Just rim it top, tight line the top and on the lower lower line. I'm going to use the Lancome Hypnose Mascara in black. So I'm just going to uh, Add a coat of volumizing mascara in the L'Oreal Voluminous Million uh, Lashes in black. I'm just gonna add a coat of that just to thicken the lashes up a little bit. I'm just going to um, place more of that burgundy color on the lower part of my eyes. I'm, I'm going to use a Lancome one. This has a sort of a shimmery sparkle color. So I have, I'm using the e.l.f. complexion brush. This is the mineral line. 
and I'm just going to use a matte, like a soft matte bronzer. So I'm just going to use this, it's like a soft matte. I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm going to use a soft rosy. Uh, looks kind of weird, the lighting. A soft rosy kind of color. I'm just going to apply lipstick straight from the tube but using my finger to tap on the color so it gives a softer appearance uh, without being too harsh. Raspberry, oh my god, the lighting is totally making orange. Only going to powder my T zone. And I'm using the Elf Studio translucent mattifying powder with a elf complexion brush and this is the studio line. 